Hello guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Carlo, the used car floor manager. Here today I'm presenting you a walk around video on the 2018 My19 LS all wheel drive Outlander. Now, you've probably seen me say this before, but this is the best Outlander that Mitsubishi has produced in this range. So, and funnily enough, we're fortunate to actually have one available here in the used car team. Now, this vehicle here from the front, yeah, as you can see, they've they've changed this, the dynamic shield shape from the front, so it's got the kind of a different grille there with the actual Mitsubishi emblem in the front here as well. Um, <clears throat> going down from here, you do get the fog lights. Again, great uh, great use of uh, more visibility on the road. And on the actual headlights itself, you can see it's really quite dynamic from the daytime, um, daytime running lamps that you have to LED daytime running lamps, as you can see there. Now, coming around from the side here, um, from this standpoint, you do actually get automatic rain sensors and dust sensors on the vehicle, right? Real good, clear thing is you've you got that little on the windscreen there. They've got all the, um, the, the sensors there as well. Coming around the side, do have the in integrated indicators here on the side mirrors. They actually do fold in when you press the button when you close the door. As you can tell, I just press the button there, open it up, and then again, window, the mirrors come out. It's a keyless entry um, uh, vehicle as well, so by pressing the button, being 40, so we've been at least 40 centimeters away from the vehicle, by pressing that button, it actually locks the car, so you don't actually have to physically get the key out of, out of your pocket or your bag. Um, pressing it again, it will open up. Now what you'll find in the vehicle here, very, very stylish. You've got that little bit of star, that, that starlight sparkle in the actual interiors of it, really quite clean. Now this car is only seven Ks old. Let me repeat that again, seven Ks old. So um, in the back here, do have the privacy glass. It's not a, it's not a just, it's not tinted windows. It is just privacy glass, so it's a dyed, Dyed, dyed tin window here in the actual glass itself. So they are, they do come from UV protected, but not very minimal. So I would advise to obviously get a, a heat shield and bowl carbon on the car as well. Um, coming around to the back, what they've really introduced to the vehicle is they actually have uh, put a rear spoiler on the car. Right, again, gives you a little, gives the car a little bit more of a dynamic feel to it. And again, for especially when um, when it rains, it doesn't drizzle down on the back as well. You do have a, 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 a rear, rear washer at the back, which is really great from the window wiper there. As you can tell, it does say four wheel drive. It is an all wheel drive vehicle. So again, it is dedicated two wheel drive when you put it in auto mode, but I'll show you that a little bit later on as well. Here you go, the color coded re um, reverse sensors in the back really great and then in the boot space here that you have just pressing the button there very easy to lift now this is the six and seven seat that you get here now do get a full size spare wheel under the, underneath the car which will you'll find underneath here by using that bolt undoing it the jacking points are jacking tools utensils are just on the on the right hand side here as you can tell there now, pointing out that the car does come with a power outlet, 12 volt, 120 watt, right? Really easy for the actual, the people in the back to either um, charge their iPhone or iPad. Um, and the way, the, the real great thing about this, I call this the Tetris, uh, the Tetris uh, vehicle car, because you can actually do a lot of, uh, you know, shifting around by making sure you can um, utilize the space by, by just folding it up or uh, pushing it down. And you have that 50-50 split in the six and seven seat as well. Comes with a cargo cargo blind here as well, guys, so real easy to do by flicking across here. Again, seat belts just flick it across here. Putting that across and then getting to these slots and keeps that little, keeps the, the under undercarriage a um, lot cooler as well and obviously security reasons when you close the door. Lifting it out, again, it does have a compartment where you can actually put, we can store the, the cargo blind when you are using the six and seven seat. All right, closing the door, you do get a little insert slot here, back tailgate, by pushing it down and pressing down at the, on the back. On here, you do have the reverse sensor, reverse uh, camera, shall I say, that's a reverse sensor. Reverse camera, which is on, on the left-hand side, really great thing, reason why they've done that, is due to the fact when you're parallel parking, um, you can see a lot more of the curb. Coming around to the other side of the left-hand car, 
left hand side of the car you got the fuel um <clears throat> fuel cap there which is a 63 litre tank size great great um capacity of having and holding a lot of fuel um noticing in the back here of the rear real great space now one thing i will real, I, I identify that that you'll know that this is the actually my 19 version because of the second row air conditioning the car does have the my 18.5 does not have it and the my 18 doesn't have it so that's something that they've really introduced to the vehicle one thing you also to duly note is the car is half leather red leather red um seat facing as well so you can see it's got a bit of a sway between the actual the vehicle now in the back of the six and seven seat it's actually full leather as well all right so full um leather seat facing should i say i'd say fixed points that you get now this car does have a folding folding um the tool to, to go with this so you can actually fold fold the seats um flat when need be so as you can tell i just lifted the actual seat up from there so I'll do that again, a little hole here, pressing it down, flicking this button across here so it actually clicks the, gives the, 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 back, the rear seat, pushing it down, then you just pull the lever and it that holds flat. As you can tell, you can do a lot of flat packs with, from Ikea as well. I know, some, I know my wife loves going to Ikea and buying all those things. So again, it's quite easy to store, um, store all, your, all, your, all those fold, fold, flat packs as well. On the side here, as you can tell, quite gorgeous. Again, it's the, the leather seat and the actual seating upholstery is really amazing as well. All right, great space there. In the glove box compartment, you do have service books there. There is a his and her drawer, which is the top shelf, and then you've also got a lot of space there as well. All right, coming around to the side here, looking at these, these, this car itself, it's a beautiful, fantastic red color. Again, really quite, um, really great, great for the eye. And again, you can always tell it's your vehicle when you buy it, when you um, when you own this car. So I'm going to open up the boot a little bit later and then go through it, go through the engine size and um, and the the heart of the actual car itself. Okay, guys, underneath the the bonnet of the Outlander 2018 My 19 LS all-wheel drive Outlander. Um, again, the power to this vehicle is 124 kilowatts and um, the torque behind it is 220 newton meters. Um, it, is a, it is a six, gears, uh, six gear um, CVT um, engine. Um, again, it is an all-wheel drive, which is a four x four on demand. Um, the capacity of this vehicle is uh, is 63 liters which basically will give you a fuel consumption of 7.2 which was um, an average distance of 833 and a maximum of a thousand now what you can see in the vehicle it does have the submarine chassis on, on this vehicle as the engine will drop underneath the vehicle uh, upon a collision on a 40 40 collision basically will, it will allow the the engine to go underneath the car and not go into the driver's side as well um, it's very very um, very well built and um, obviously well constructed in regards to where everything is a lot of space there beautiful sound sound barriers that we have here with all this all the padding as well so again great vehicle that you, you're looking at it's very well developed and well designed all right guys starting off with the music as you can tell I love my music um, inside the actual Outlander LS all-wheel drive 2018 my 19 um, it's just coming from the right to left that you have you do have all the all the um, the mirror mirror controls here the side mirror controls by just going left and right and obviously you can actually fold the mirrors in by pushing this button as well now you can lock the windows here and also unlock the car and lock the doors for, for, for safety reasons um, and on the actual power windows normally the other outlands don't actually have these with the previous models which they, you do actually have automatic automatic controls as well by just pressing a one-touch automatic so again if you press the button press it up it also automatically goes down as one touch. Um, coming over to the left, to the to the actual stair, the front front area of the vehicle, you got the forward collision mitigation with the vehicle. Also, a lane departure warning. Um, you also get parking sensors. You can turn it off, but you do have the reverse sensors there. So, coming onto the right hand stalk, you do have all the um, the for the indicators and also the auto headlights as well by flicking that on. Do get auto high beams right on the side button of the stalk, and coming into the right to the to left stalk, there's you have the um, 
the the wipers as well same with same with that you do have auto wipers that you can actually control it too coming to the three three spoke steering wheel that you have there's leather bound on the outside do have a speed limiter which they've actually introduced into this model and adaptive cruise control sitting at mid, at short mid and far um, cruise control obviously still is, is, is also on the on the right hand steering wheel and then your Bluetooth compatibility controls on the left hand side which is a speaker or Siri should I say with by holding it down and then pick up, picking up and hanging up the phone coming over behind the actual uh, left hand stalk is the start button for the vehicle so obviously by pressing the start button you can t t um, turn it off by that and also pressing the start button there um, <clears throat> Coming over to the center console here, you do get the 7.1 um, screen uh, smart link system, which is the SDA smart link system for the Apple CarPlay Android Auto. Um, key features of this vehicle, of this actual uh, system here, is you've got the digital radio, FM, AM, and then the apps is more so the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. And then also you've got the Bluetooth uh, com compatibility to pair your phone up. Very easy to do, no voice needed. Um, and you'll have also iPod and USB. One real quick uh, thing, if you love your favorite, like your favorite buttons, you can actually hold the button itself and you can actually, um, by pressing that and just end it and you can actually uh, customize um, the, the icons. So real beautiful um, feature there. Down the bottom here, do, do you have dual climate control? As you can see, this is the master. And then by pressing the left hand one, it will actually do, do the dual the climber zones there. The climber zone will only control the passenger front passenger side. The actual master, which is the driver side, will control the back as well. All right. So we want to switch it back to there. Just press auto. All right. Coming into the to the middle console, beautiful flush enclosed um, cup holders there, which is great. And if you're not using them, you can, you can just close it from there. Just turn the fan off. And here you do have an extra 12 volt, 120 watt um, max uh, a plug there as well to charge your phone. And you also get a USB charge where you put your Apple CarPlay or your phone in as well. Um, do have a slot here in regards to your um, your key. Again, if it do, does lose battery or if you've actually uh, uh, switched the actual um, the sensor off in the car, you can actually just turn the car on by put by putting the the, the key in there as well. Coming over to the drive to the middle console here, you got the electric handbrake, auto hold button as well, and then you also got next to it is the four wheel drive system, which is normally on eco. It's on eco at the moment. I'd leave it on auto, and what auto does, it just um, basically just uh, has a brain for itself to identify what type of terrains on you are. So if you put it on auto lock, it's when you really are quite on the, in the snow mode, or should I say, really rugged areas as well. So I'll leave it on auto there. All right, you do, this vehicle does come with heated seats. So you've got the two, just the front front seat and the driver's seat. Here you do have the um, preheat and maintain, which is high and low. Um, in the center console here with the with this beautiful space there, you can actually put a lot of things in, which you know, which I think it's great. It's great for, for space, there's not much, um, not much, you can actually see everything in this in this vehicle as well, which is a good feature. Um, again, in the back here, you see there, it's got the, uh, the second row air conditioning, which is great. Yeah, and then you have the sunglass holders up the, up the top here. You do here, you get an automatic uh, um, mirror demister as well. Not demister, should I say, it's at the dimmer. So this will automatically dim or, or tint when, when you're nighttime driving. Um, again, if someone's flashing you at nighttime, it will actually will um, darken the actual tint, the, the, the glass will darken as well. Um, again guys I've gone through this car many many times and I can guarantee you every time I drive this vehicle it is such an amazing drive it's a 2.4 engine I just can't get enough of this um, Outlander so please come in and um, um, enjoy enjoy the come for a test drive and enjoy the drive and ask ask one of us um, staff members to actually to go through the vehicle with you um, but that's it for the, for, for the inside of the vehicle so whilst that's happening I think my cameraman's actually uh, uh, taking a span of the whole vehicle um, and then we'll take it from there. 
There you have it guys, this is a walk around video on the 2018 LS all wheel drive, my 19 Outlander, again the best one that the uh, Mitsubishi has produced. Um, please call us on 9907055 if you're interested in this vehicle and again this car still does qualify for a premium mechanical protection plan which is a PMPP. This the um, acronym of it. However, what I'd like to mention to you is 10 years worth of roadside assistance that you get premium, and you get the fixed price servicing or interval service of 295, and you get two and a half thousand dollars worth of unlimited claims under 181 items. If you want more information, please ask one of the one of the salespeople here. I'm Carlo um, from the used car team, the floor manager. Please don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you again. Love that experience.